What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So I'm doing this series on YouTube where we're basically doing all the super popular fake value farms and kind of just like breaking down the numbers like why are people even doing these farms including myself because these farms are typically giving you between half a million at all the way up to like even above a million gold in market value. But how much gold do you really make from these farms and what items is of interest from these farms? So a big thank you to uh, everyone that has done suggestions in the comment section of the previous videos in this series and everyone cheering on this mini series. I appreciate it. And uh, since we're talking about appreciations, a big thank you to everyone that has already picked up the uh, 0 to 10 million gold guide and all the positive feedback on it. So I'm super excited to get into the beta for Dragonflight and uh, just keep on updating the book. Because if that is one of the concerns you have about the book, then don't worry. This book has been updated for two years now. And the whole thing is like you buy it one time and you get every single future update that I do to the book for free. So this will turn into the Dragonflight book whenever the game is out. So if you want it, you can use code Shadowlands still and you will get 50% off. And it's going to be linked down below in the description. Now, you can't say fake value farms without mentioning Isle of Thunder. Isle of Thunder is... Uh, it's been used for a lot of things. Most people, they do Isle of Thunder to kill the elites to get the sealed tomb of Lost Legion on the Warlock. This area was notoriously known for uh, like bots, like multi-boxing bots. They did it for the raw gold and the Spirit of Harmony. Uh, but the Sandalari trolls in this area, that's why you would want to do this farm. Because they have unique looking transmog items and they have a lot of them. Like a shit ton. So this farm is extremely good. This is the location. Uh, you do want to place markers on this farm. Like it is of course possible to do it solo. Because if you don't have any of these um, items on the auction house and you don't really have that much competition... It is very viable to do this farm uh, solo. However, way better in a group like most open world farms. So we pretty much place down these four markers. Like you have the skull right here because there's a lot of spawns, good density in this area. And then the skull to cover like these mobs over here outside of this building as well. And then blue marker up on this plateau right here just because you can reach a lot of mobs around and then moon. This moon is also very good. The density is great. Just look at this. There's a ton of mobs and all of these mobs are hyper spawning. Now the fifth mark, when we do it, we use me as a roamer. Meaning that I run from mark to mark. And I also run through this place right here to kill these mobs as well to help with the hyper spawn. That means that I will get more loot than the other four people. Yeah, I know, like the advantage of being the streamer, right? But if you're going to five man this and no one is going to have an advantage, uh, you could place the green marker right here. And you can just camp these, uh, these killing spots and you loot every two minutes, right? There's also people doing constant kill and loot where you just run at these markers in circles and constantly killing and constantly looting. That also works by all means, right? So... What are you after on this farm and how much gold could you possibly make? Well, the thing is, this is a picture from when we did it uh, a couple of days ago on my live stream. And as you can see, I got the most uh, market value of 895,000 gold, which is actually on the low side. I usually always break the 1 million gold on Ludopracer. Then followed by pretty steady numbers, 570,000 gold, 540, 520. 511 and then the rest is just doing a random farm so you're not doing i love thunder so half a million to a million gold depending on rng of course and which spot you're in insane that's a lot of gold right so now we're going to look at what's what's the value and how much am i realistically going to get because that's the thing about fake value no you won't be making whatever the uh, the loot appraiser or whatever add-on you're using tells you that you're making because it's calculating the market value of all the items you're not going to sell most of the items for market value you're not even going to sell most of the items you're just going to vendor them uh, but if you make a million gold in predicted market value 
even if you just sell that for 20%, you're still making 200k. And that's kind of like the point that a lot of people are missing. So if this seems interesting to you, by the way, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will be notified whenever I upload a video like this one, right? Uh, but you should make roughly 4,000 gold raw just from loot uh, vendoring uh, like the green items, the uh, the gray items, and the raw gold pick up 4,000. That number used to be 10,000, but it was nerfed uh, a while ago, actually. And that's not calculating all of these uh, ghost iron lock boxes. Like, this is not even half the boxes, right? You get so many ghost iron lock boxes, it's insane. And each one of these box contains uh, like 20, 30, 40 gold plus green items, plus the chance of getting another box. So it's actually a couple of thousand gold raw from just the, the ghost iron lock boxes as well. On top of that, you're getting uh, like wind wool cloth, which it's not worth that much, right? It's like, let's say realistically, 200 gold a stack, right? Uh, but still... That's right above a thousand gold, just in the wind wool cloth. And then you get Moat of Harmony. As you can see, I'm sitting at uh, 566 moats or 56 Spirit of Harmony. Now, the average price on uh, 56 of those is above 10,000 gold, right? So you're looking at a guaranteed 16, 17,000 gold because... Let's face it, Spirit of Harmony, it's always going to sell. So that's guaranteed, like 16, 17,000 uh, gold, absolute guaranteed. And then the rest is uh, the transmog items. Now, the transmog items, they do have a decent sell rate. Don't care about the price of my realm because my realm is dog shit. Look, even the reach in sales average, the price of my realm, half that, right? So the Time Worn Shadow Tooth set is very good. I mean, uh, it's understandable because these Sandalary Troll Transmog, look at the shoulders. It is quite cool. I think so, at least. Uh, but yeah, cool sets. Very unique looking sets from this place. So that the Time Worn Shadow Tooth set should definitely keep that. And then you have the Peacekeeper set, which is another set that I, at least I think look very decent. Like, I can definitely see people mocking this one. Don't mind the headpiece, obviously. And then there's a ton of these uh, sets. Like, there is so many. Like, these shoulders. Uh, you have the, the ones that I didn't pick up, but if you look at the, uh, the top of the list, the Blood Tusk shoulder pads, those are also very high in demand, right? But there's a ton of these items that are unique appearances uh, that you shouldn't have any problem selling whatsoever there's also some weapons that you can look into that are quite cool uh, the value on these aren't usually insane but they always do sell so uh, i tend to keep them same with this pole arm look at the seller rate not bad for a transmog weapon right um this one no issue selling it then you have some axes uh like the dagger like i showed you there's a couple of daggers that are good. It's just overall a lot of good sets from I Love Thunder. It's a very underestimated farm. It is extremely good. And it's probably, uh, if I was going to start from scratch and start farming Transmog, obviously group farms is the best option. So this farm right here would be the first Transmog farm in the open world that I would do. That's just look at the amount of items. This is not all the items I got by no means. Like, this is after I've done, I'm done filtering out the items that I don't want to keep, right? Because you will get a bunch of uh, items with a market value of like 20 gold, 40 gold, 50 gold. All of those are vendor. And these are the items that are left that has a decent uh, market value or a combination of like a good market value, but also a good sell rate. So when we look at how much gold I could make, if I were to post everything that I have in the bags... On the auction house and it would sell for the current price right keep in mind that is when the price on every single items is lower than the average eu price right so it, it's not like i usually see the comments like oh student your realm is the best realm man i there's no way i can get those prices on my realm like it's right here but on the like you guys can see it on the screen the majority of all items are way beneath the average price on eu so no it's not like my realm has inflated numbers it's a full pop realm but if i use my tsm uh macro we can see how much it's going to be in total value after farming for one hour 
and obviously it's transmog items it does take a while to sell but uh it always sells eventually so once it finally sells like all of it i will be looking at let's see 317,000 gold now that sounds like it's too good to be true right and uh it's not like you will make 317,000 gold in the next month no some of these items you will be you will get under a cut someone will dump the price on certain of items i'm not going to make 317,000 gold most likely uh but making like 200 250,000 gold is very realistic but it will take a very long time in order to do so, though. Uh, but that was pretty much it for today's video. So if you guys got any more suggestions on what farm I should do next uh, that's fake value, please let me know down below in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hey, you can always take a look at the 0 to 10 million gold guide. Links down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see all of you guys back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye-bye.